and its people are capable of such madness. Ryan with ScreenFiles.com and Trail to Reaction. If you're Warner Brothers and, I don't know, a movie doesn't work out as you planned, you're more than likely fine because Never mind the budget reaching somewhere in the ballpark of 150 million to 200 million dollars, you're going to be okay because your production slate is significantly larger than this one movie. It hurts, but you're not going to lose any sleep, more than likely, over it not doing well. But what if you're a company like Lionsgate, a mini major, not quite in the big leagues, but not quite in the neon space, if you will? That could be a problem. Though let's say for argument's sake you've had failure after failure after failure after failure. What do you do then? And while I can't speak for what Lionsgate executives are thinking, I think they're on the right path in that they seem to be leaning into genre, horror in particular, with The Strangers Chapter 2 based on Brian Bertino's The Strangers. Now, to be fair, I prefer Johannes Roberts' Strangers Pray at Night, if only because his movie centered the antagonist. It made them more human, which I liked, as opposed to Brian Bertino's original, which he wrote and directed, where the strangers seemed almost otherworldly and supernatural. I didn't like that because they clearly were not. Now keep in mind the situation that Brian Bertino created in his film was based upon a real life situation, but nonetheless they were not supernatural and they felt that way to me with the original movie. So I wasn't a fan and as I said I liked Johannes Roberts' The Strangers Pray at Night significantly better than the original. In any case, Lionsgate for whatever reason, decided to create a trilogy based on Brian Bertino's original 2008 movie. That the entire trilogy was directed by Rennie Harlan, I think is awesome because I think he's a very good genre director. But at the same time, I think a very interesting question is, why is this a trilogy? Why is this three films? I don't get that. But as I said, I think Rennie Harlan is really interesting and I'm willing to at least take a look at anything he does. Though I haven't seen The Strangers Chapter 1. If only because from what I've read it is essentially the same movie as Brian Bertino's original. Though I'm not in a hurry to see The Strangers Chapter 1 because I've seen Brian Bertino's original movie numerous times. There's no reason to see something that is too faithful to it. In any case, let's look at the teaser trailer for Rennie Harlan's The Strangers Chapter 2. <laughs> Scripture says, we are all children of the Lord. But he did not build us the same. <laughs> there are people around you right now with darkness in their hearts. Richard Brake? Your friends, your neighbors. Only God sees their true faces. You're safe. I promise. is infected by evil and its people are capable of such madness they may seem innocent but do not be deceived by the masks they wear Is 
camera here. Well, that was the teaser for The Strangers Chapter 2. I gotta admit, I kind of liked it. If only because it seems to be moving beyond Brian Bertino's original source material. And it seems to be creating an atmosphere of paranoia. Which is to say, the original antagonists were masked. You never knew who they were. And with this teaser, they seem to be playing with that idea. Which is to say, anyone could be a stranger. Any person you walk into, any person you see on the street, could be a stranger. And I don't mean a stranger as in a person you are unfamiliar with. I mean a stranger in the sense of a pathological, psychopathic murderer. So this is an interesting take on it. And I gotta admit, it sounds a heck of a lot more interesting than The Strangers Chapter 1. And in fact, it gives me hints of The Town That Dreaded Sundown, the original. The remake, I'm not crazy about. Now what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer Into Reaction. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.